The Lego Ideas office set is pretty fantastic. I know we don't get the whole office, but we do get a whole bunch of minifigures. Although, there are some key characters missing, so today, I'm going to make them. And apart from creating four brand new custom Lego minifigures for the office set, I'll also be modifying one of these. Any guesses which one? And here are the parts I'm going to use. So the first character I'm going to make is someone who I thought really should have been in this set. And I mean, he punched the hole in the wall, he's got his desk, but where is he? Yeah, that's right, I'm on about Mr. Andy Bernard. Alright, so to make Andy, I'm going to make mine using this torso, because after all, I mean, everyone's made their own Andy Bernard these days, right? And they all start with that torso. And they usually use the Ray Stance head from the Ghostbusters set a few years ago. But I'm going to use something a bit different, because, you know, I want to make this my own. I'm going to use this one right here. And as for the legs, most people tend to go for the dark red to match with the torso. But I'm not sure if I'm going to use those. I mean, I could... Although I'm thinking I might just go all out tan. And here he is so far. Now, time to add a hairpiece. I've got two to choose from here. One of them is an official Lego part. Another one is a custom mold. Hmm. Let's see which one looks best. So this hairpiece is pretty much the default one that people use when they're creating their own custom Lego Andy minifigure. And I guess it works, especially for his hair in the earlier seasons. But let's see how this custom mold looks as well. Okay, I quite like this one. It is a bit kind of bit poofy for Andy's hair maybe. It does kind of more resemble his hair from the later seasons, especially like season nine. Which hairstyle do you think looks better? The official Lego piece or this custom piece? And here is the dark red legs. Again, just like with the hair piece, I'm really not sure which look I prefer. I think they all kind of work, honestly. All right, so we've got Andy, but we can't have Andy without Aaron. Now to make Aaron, it's a little bit more complex, but maybe you can have a guess from the parts I've got here. All right, so we're gonna need some black legs. A hairpiece and a head. Yeah, we're getting somewhere. The torso, going for a dark red outfit. Oh, the head just rolled away there. But just so you know, this torso originally had these pink arms, and I've already gone ahead to swap them out for dark red, just so it kind of makes a you know complete look. And if you put them all together, there you go, Aaron and Andy. So we haven't got many parts left now. Hmm, and only two heads, so two more characters. Who's it gonna be? I think this office needs some corporate presence and who better than Jan? So we're gonna use this dark gray torso suit piece. We're gonna get this hair here and this head and these legs and oh, let's put it all together. And here she is, it's Jan. So just before I customize one of these existing characters, we've got just enough pieces for one more brand new custom Lego character from The Office. Who's it gonna be? Who's it gonna be? He likes to wear dark suits, but no ties. Glasses. Hmm. Of course, it's Robert California. I'm the f lizard gang. And there's Robert, maybe not looking the, too impressed. He's just walked in on The Office and there's some sort of shenanigan going on that he doesn't quite understand. All right, so here are the leftover parts so far. We've got the arms from the torso that Aaron's having and these alternate hairpiece and alternate legs. And then we have these two torsos left. The white arms from this torso were originally on this torso here and the black arms, you know, vice versa. And also both torsos originally had yellow hands. So I've already gone ahead to swap over the arms and the hands. This torso here is gonna be used for Ryan, who's too busy on his phone right now, but I'm sure he'll pay attention in a minute. You know, don't get me wrong, the Ryan Lego minifigure that they've included here is pretty fine. But he does share the same torso as Jim, and I thought Jim is more well known for the blue shirt combo. So I thought, yeah, I'll change Ryan up instead. And here is my new and improved version of Ryan from The Office. Stanley yelled at me today. Although I just remembered that Creed and Michael also have the same torso piece, so maybe I'll make a future video making more characters and changing up one of these guys. I'll probably change Creed. So there we have it, my custom Lego minifigures for characters from The Office. Now I know that obviously Jan and Robert California didn't interact in the show and they didn't exist at the same point in time and all that jazz, but hey, it's Lego, it's my characters, it's my set. And hey, imagine if Jan and Robert ever did meet. Could you imagine the chemistry between them? Blimey, it'd be off the charts. I think Aaron and Andy are my favorites, but yeah. And Ryan looks pretty good too in his different outfit. Let me know in the comments which of these was your favourite and which character from The Office should I create next. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to check out my video where I made characters from The Last of Us and The Walking Dead.